Alistair Gray, the renowned Glaswegian writer and artist, has died aged 85. Canongate Publishers, who published his epic landmark novel Lanark, announced this morning. Alistair Gray, the beloved author and artist, has died. Canongate is deeply saddened to announce the death of Alistair Gray, aged 85. He passed away peacefully earlier today at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in his native Glasgow, in the presence of family. His family would like to share this message. Early this morning we lost a deeply loved member of our family. Alistair was an extraordinary person, very talented and, even more importantly, very humane. He was unique and irreplaceable and we will miss him greatly. We would like to thank Alistair's many friends for their love and support, especially in recent years. Together with the staff of the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, Glasgow, who treated him and us with such care and sensitivity during his short illness. In keeping with his principles Alistair wanted his body donated to medical science, so there will be no funeral. Francis Bickmore, Gray's editor and publishing director at Canongate, said. What sad news this is that Alistair Gray is gone. It seems hard to believe that Alistair was mortal and might ever leave us. No one single figure has left such a varied legacy, or missed so many deadlines, as Alistair Gray. At least through Gray's phenomenal body of work he leaves a legacy that will outlive us all. His voice of solidarity and compassion for his fellow citizens, and his forward-looking vision is cause for great celebration and remembrance. And from his agent, Jenny Brown. We mourn Alistair Gray's passing, but his genius will live on for readers through his remarkable work. He was a cultural trailblazer, nobody has done more to spur on, and give confidence to, the next generation of Scottish writers. A renowned polymath, Alistair Gray was beloved equally for his writing and art. His debut, Lanark, which Canongate published in 1981, is widely regarded as being one of the masterpieces of 20th century fiction. It was followed by more than 30 further books, all of which he designed and illustrated, ranging from novels, short story collections, plays, volumes of poetry, works of non-fiction and translations, most recently, his interpretation of Dante's Divine Trilogy. His public murals are visible across Glasgow with further examples of his work on display in galleries from the V&A to the Scottish National Gallery of Modern Art. For more on this story, visit the news article link.